Happy Tuesday. There goes the dog. He knows it's time for me to cook, so off he goes. That is so funny. The minute I say good morning, guys, he goes and hides down the hall. It's like, I don't know if he just doesn't want to be on camera yet or if he's afraid I'm going to set the alarms off. He doesn't like it when I cook. He doesn't like the sound of anything frying or stresses him right out. So off he goes. All right. Looking wicked puppy this morning. Oh. I don't know why. I'm wicked puppy. So I, I woke up this morning starting to get this giant cold sore. You can't see it, but my lip is swelling right up. And I take I took like three meds because it's because I got a sunburn. So I don't look like I'm that burnt right here, but my I am a little sunburnt. And so because I have a sunburn, <laughs> what was that? That's Tony too. Tony doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on camera any more than the dog wants to be on camera. My husband is an incredibly private person like he doesn't like he's very private <laughs> let's just say it so it's hard for him that I'm on camera all the time and and that I have all these followers on Facebook and stuff he's like they know too much about us it stresses me out like anytime I'm live and somebody says I want to come meet you he's like mm -hmm please no he's just right he's not not at all like me like every time I mention I, maybe I'll meet up with this person or maybe I'll meet up with that person he's like no no we're not opening that door we're not opening that door we're not opening the door to people coming here or people going you going to meet people we're not doing that KJ oh he calls me doesn't call me KJ he calls me Kevin <laughs> he's very private it's funny like me, I just, you know, me, I, I'm not that way at all, <laughs> but he is, when I first started this and a couple people wanted my mailing address and I gave it to them, he was not happy. He's like, you can't do that. People are going to come to our house. No, no, there is a line. No. No, he's not, Melissa. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's not. He's like, there's a line between personal life and this Facebook life, and it's not going to be crossed. Like, that's just him. It's nothing bad. It's not, he's not being mean. He's just, he's just private and very, very protective of me. He's very, when I used to travel for work, it would almost send him into a tailspin when I'd have to go to a city or something. I, I'd go out in the city at night when I was alone. Here, I was by myself. I'd be out in Phoenix or I went to um, I went to San Francisco and Palm Springs and Chicago and Denver. I'm trying to think of all the places I went all over the place. And I would go out in the city in the evening and just walk. I'd walk through the whole city and I'd be like, this is, just check everything out. He, I'd get back and I'd be like, oh, I checked this out. He's like, you went out into the city by yourself. Yes. He just, he's very protective of me. He's so protective. <laughs> he's worried about losing me. That's why. <laughs> so he's the same way with like, Whenever I say, I'm going to get together with this Trim Healthy Mama, or I'm going to get together with that Trim Healthy Mama, he's like, no, you're not. No. No, we're not doing that. No. Because then you'll you'll have like 6,000 women showing up at your doorstep. No. <laughs> All of a sudden, a bus of women showing up at my doorstep. Oh, listen, Melissa. <laughs> Thank you, Anne Marie. Don't want to get my shirt dirty this morning. 
I am making um, Trim Healthy Pancakes with some Bananas Foster. Um, I need to get more ease or something, you guys. I don't know. I think part of it is that I, I've been up five pounds all week. And I know, it's, I know I didn't gain five pounds. I can tell I'm bloated. Everything, my rings won't come off. Everything is very bloated, and I think it's because I got a sunburn. Whenever I get a sunburn, I hold on to fluid, like most people. And I, I just feel this puffy. I just feel puffy. So, I don't know. I need some deep ass. Yesterday, I had a, I had a fuel pull and a couple, deep, did I have deep ass? Yeah, I had. Was my supper last night a deep ass? Speaking of supper, last night, <laughs> can I though, Melissa? So listen, I trust you ladies, don't get me wrong, but I have gotten a couple creepy messages. People that have Googled where I live and are, I have gotten a couple creepy messages. I can trust, I can trust, I can't trust everybody in the world, right? Like I, I'm not, I'm trusting, but not, I have my lines too, but I've gotten some creepy messages, you guys. I've gotten a couple messages of people saying they're gonna find me. <laughs> that may be why my husband is like, no, no, you're not gonna go meet people. So. There's a line when you're on social media with a lot of, of followers. It's, there's a little bit of danger in the world. So, you know, that's why he's so protective of me. That's okay. It's all right, it's all right. I wanna go to the coach's retreat next year and I said he's gonna have to go because I wanna go. But no, listen, true crime podcasts, are scary. <laughs> have you ever listened to, have you, and Melissa, have you listened to Dr. Death? That is terrifying. Makes you not want to go to a doctor at all. I'm on a weird rant today. I don't, how did I even get on this topic? <laughs> all right, Trim Healthy Pancakes some cottage cheese. So I'm going to put bananas foster with this. I'm going to use just over half a banana. I figured out the carbs in what I'm eating and it will be right about 45. So it is a full E by doing two different carb sources, but you don't want to do a full, um, full batch of these and then a full batch, like a full banana or, um, add too many carb sources. Cause when you do carbs, you want to stay around 45 grams. You don't want to go crazy and have 60, 70 carbs. It's not, it, it does the opposite for you. So just make a small portion of the bananas foster to put on your pancakes and then you'll be good. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> they smoke. Third of a cup of egg. We used to have people in the backyard or in the neighbor behind us that would shoot their guns all evening and it was too close to the house. It made us very nervous, um, but they've sold the property and somebody's building a house, so we're good now. All right, I need a teaspoon, let's see. A teaspoon of super sweet. Dr. Death is about bad doctors like it's really good there's also another one it's just about bad doctors and confidence um oh my gosh melissa listen you guys if you haven't seen it yet i posted a recipe last night for artichoke hearts you Get in the back of your cabinet today and find that stray can of artichoke hearts. You know there's one back there. It's probably expired by three or four years, but I bet it's still okay. Find a can of artichoke hearts, and if you don't have a stray can in your cabinet, 
I had it in there going, why did I buy these? I got to use these. I don't know why they're here. I have two cans of them and I don't even know what they're for. Go buy them and make the fried artichoke hearts that I made last night because they are amazing. You just take a little bit of egg white. Like I used this, but I used the equivalent of um, one. So just use one egg white, mix, dry them good with a towel, uh, paper towels. So they're just not, they don't have to be super dry, but so they're not softening and wet. And then, um, I think everybody does, Melissa. Everybody's got a just in case can of artichoke hearts. Cause you know, that's what you want when the end of the world hits is a can of artichoke hearts. So everybody has an emergency can of artichoke hearts in their cabinet. Um, you just put a little bit of egg white on it, mix it around. I drained the extra egg white that didn't stick to the artichokes out of my bowl I just threw that away because I you only want enough to coat Lori you might like these because these don't have the flavor of anything artichokey so you put the egg white on them and then just pour a bunch of the pre-made hubby lovin seasoning if you don't have that make up a batch of hubby lovin from the book from trim healthy table put it on there and air fry it for like eight to 10 minutes. For my Ninja, it was about nine minutes on 390. And oh my word, <laughs> you did, Cindy. <laughs> I'm like Elisha, go look in your cabinet. There you will find olive oil to fill all of the jars. I'm like, go look in your cabinet and you just may now find artichoke hearts. I'm telling you, they were phenomenal. I ate the whole can. Their fuel pull, the whole can has, I think mine had seven carbs in it, the entire can. Amazing, amazing. Yes, that's what you want, Lori. I just sprinkled it on, mixed it up, sprinkled a little more until it wasn't sticking anymore, so I had a good coating. You guys, I'm not kidding you. They are incredible. All right, I need to zing this up. They may be my new favorite vegetable ever. And I thought... Is this called for cinnamon? No. I was supposed to chop the oats up first, wasn't I? Am I supposed to blend this well? I am paying attention. I was supposed to chop the oats up first, but I guess does it really matter if I'm chopping it up in here? No. Um, somebody mentioned last night they went to a restaurant and saw on the menu a crispy artichoke and goat cheese salad. And so now I have to make crispy artichoke salad. Oh my gosh. They are good, Nikki. They're, I don't... Like fresh artichokes are a little much. I don't want to taste that. It's got raw egg. I almost, I almost, I think I did taste some of it. Why am I doing that? Stop it. I'm licking raw eggs off my fingers. All right. I'm going, I'm going to get together tonight with my team outside. I'm nervous. I haven't been out to eat in a year. Out to eat is like at a sit down. At least a year. It's been at least a year. So I'm going tonight. And I already looked at the menu. And they have a salad that has seaweed and greens and ahi tuna and spicy ahi tuna. There's no like sweet glaze on this. There's marinated cucumbers. Um, spicy marinated cucumbers and then there's a spicy tuna sauce and I mean tuna sauce spicy something sauce it's kind of like a sushi salad I'm gonna I'm gonna ask them what's in it for sugar so it says Nikki you know like the seaweed you get at the jet do you ever go to like a um, sushi restaurant the seaweed salad that comes on the side it's like bright green and has sesame seeds in it and that it's that I would imagine with ahi tuna over it it's one of the few things on the menu that look on plan. You guys, I am a rashy mess. These, 
I think it's the brown tail moth. We have it up here bad and it's in the air. You should see my legs. They are one big rash of little tiny blisters and I think it's from, and now I've got it on my arm. I don't know if that's a thing where you are, but we have it bad up here this year and it is miserable, absolutely miserable. All right, what am I doing? I was gonna bring you over to the oven. Let's go for a walk. I've seen it and never tried it, but I'll try it. Cause I, before I would have looked at that salad and gone, uh -huh, no way. But now that my taste buds have changed, I'm thinking it might be okay. I don't know. Do you have them where you are, Sarah? See my arm? It's all, you can't see the bumps. It's all like, it's terrible, you guys. It's awful. I'm going through beta-methasone steroid cream like nobody's business like crazy and it is not helping it's terrible i dig all day my husband says just rub it don't dig i'm like I can't, I can't, I can't. it's one of the reasons i got these nails on they're not nearly as sharp i can't dig i was digging my legs um until they were bleeding brown tail moth sarah it's the caterpillars their hairs are toxic and when you like mow or whatever up here they're so bad right now the the little hairs get into the air they just kind of float and so if you go sit out at a ball game where they've recently mowed which is what i just did anything like that the hairs will irritate you and i mean it's it can be people are sold out of steroid cream everywhere up here yes hydrocortisone helps a little bit um, coconut oil, believe it or not, helps the itching a little, but nothing helps it completely. It's just a constant tickle. It's miserable. All right. Yeah, we have a bad this year. I'm going to cook these at the same time because I like to see how much I can screw things up. So it, t it says, so this is four to six servings. I don't need four to six servings. Yes, Wanda, it will, and I keep forgetting to buy it. Everybody keeps saying get the Benadryl cream. It's not helping, Cindy. I have it. Nothing is helping. Nothing. Nothing. These little, uh, I want to call them a bad name. What am I doing? All right, four to six servings of banana, of banana foster. I'm going to like, I'm going to eyeball this to make it into one serving. Because I don't need four to six. I don't even need two. I just need one. So I'm going to do a teaspoon of butter. That is going to be my added fat. I'd say, hey, that is about a teaspoon right there. So a teaspoon of butter. A half a cup of gentle sweet. So if I'm dividing this by four, it's like a tablespoon-ish. I'm eyeballing this. I'm not doing anything precise. I'm just going to go for it. Wait, I better read the instructions. Place everything but the bananas into a skillet and cook for five minutes. All right. So there's some gentle sweet. Some almond milk, half a cup. So I'd say just a little splash of almond milk. Salt, quarter teaspoon. So I'm just going to do a pinch or a couple. Oh, it says if you're doing the E version, do a little bit more salt. So I'm, I am. Oh, that's right. I didn't have to put the butter in that at all because I could have used butter extract. My profile pick? You must be talking about somebody else. Oh, you are. You're not talking about me. I have the Bountiful Balm too. Oatmeal bath. I could try that. I haven't tried an oatmeal bath. Thing is, I don't, doesn't that only help the itching for like a minute or two and then you're right back at it? It helps while you're in the tub. Oh. Yesterday they were bleeding because I couldn't stop digging and the, there was just blood like crazy. It's terrible. All right. Half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, so I'm going to do about that much. Some vanilla, a little black strap. 
Whoops. Holy Hannah. I think I doubled what they call for for vanilla for the four to six. <laughs> oh well. Nothing in it. And then I'm going to do a little teeny tiny bit of black strap. It's a little itty bitty bit. Maybe like not even a quarter teaspoon. I'm the queen of winging it here, you guys. I don't even know. Chiggers, though. Oh, those are those little jerks that bite with the little pinchers on their face, right? Sarah, so even calamine lotion doesn't help with the itch with this. So they're saying that there's a mix of witch hazel, calamine, and coconut oil, and lavender oil, and it's like four or five different things that you can mix together and slather on that does help. So I might need to look into it. I just haven't. I just keep slathering steroids on it. I don't know, it's not working. <laughs> so I don't know why, but I keep doing it. All right, now I'll make my pancakes. They've been sitting for long enough. You guys, if you don't have this spray, go get it. It is the best cooking spray. Look how nice, can you even see? How nice, I don't want to spray too much. How nice it comes out. It comes out in this beautiful, Thank you, Cindy, for sending me that because it's my new favorite cooking spray. All right. I get that good and hot. I'll cook my pancakes. My artichokes are in the air fryer. Should go go. <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> go make a dip to go with them. You're <laughs> having them for breakfast. If you, if, if you, um, Make a little dip with some Greek yogurt, some Creole, and some hot sauce. Just, oh my gosh, they're so good dipped. It's Chosen Foods 100% Pure Avocado Oil Spray. And it is incredible. It just comes out in this like wide, right here, Karen. It's really good, really good. I've never had avocado oil spray, and now is my new favorite thing. All right, this is like, yeah, jeepers, calm down. See how it's thickening up? So I think that's probably good. And then put the bananas in it. And cook for another three to four minutes. That seems like a long time. I'm not gonna cook it that long, because where it's such a small serving, I don't wanna cook it that long. I'm shut the heat off for a second while I put this banana in there. It's not gonna need nearly that long. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can time my time. I told you I couldn't do these three things at two things at once. Well, I thought my pan was sizzling, and I was wrong. It's not hot enough. Oh well, it'll get hotter. You guys, I need a new flat pan. Look at this thing. It's curved in the middle. <laughs> it's like so everything wants to slide in the middle. It's time to buy a new pan. I think it's time to go buy a new griddle. Um, I think it's from Walmart. That's where it came from. My whole banana just went in this pan. My bananas are super duper soft. That's why I had to make something with bananas today because they're on their way out and I still have like six. I don't know why I think I got to buy them at Sam's Club. In bulk. I eat two a week. Get that. Oh, I'm sorry, Bass. Why did I give that to the dog? Oh, well. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I think so. It came from Walmart. Yep. Uh, I need my spatula. Clean. Ding. All right. So there's my bananas foster. It says to cook it another three to four minutes, but that's for a big pan of this. This is not a big pan, so I'm not going to cook it, but maybe a minute because I won't have any sauce left as it is. I, I think I'm going to add a little extra almond milk to thin it down because it's pretty thick, but that's because I eyeballed it. Just whatever. I'm just going to go with it. It's just how I cook. I think my pancakes are not going to flip easy because they're all together in one big pile. 
Yeah, bam cake, maybe some overnight oats. Bananas foster. Make it up. Make some um, trim healthy. Make some of the, what's it called? The, I'm putting a little banana extract, I mean a butter extract in there. Um, shoot, what's it called? The trim healthy, trim, um, shoot, what's the ice cream called that's a fuel pull, you guys? I can't think of it. Tummy tucking ice cream. Tummy tucking ice cream. Make, make that and put, make this bananas foster to go over it. Not the perfect shape, but it doesn't matter. Because guess who's eating it? Me. So what difference does it make if it's the perfect shape? Alright, there's my banana sauster. It lightened a lot when I poured that extra milk in there, but I'm glad I did because I want the sauce to pour over my pancakes. That looks really good. This is a single serve pancake recipe. It says it makes three pancakes, but I didn't make them very big, so it's gonna make more than that. I never get the amount of weekly bananas right. Exa I know, it's exactly the same here. Everybody, Marin doesn't eat them, but either, you know, my husband eats five and I don't get any, or nobody eats them and I throw them all away. And I know I could freeze them, but I just don't go through enough. I'll give a little bit to the dog, he likes them. I need to make sure these are cooked through because I do not like it if they're gooey in the middle. And they are cooked through. They're not gooey, they're cooked through. I'm gonna have way more than three, but that's okay because they're just little. Let's just spray on there. This pan sticks really bad, so I have to spray it a couple of times. every last bit because I calculated my carbs. I want every single carb I'm entitled to. <laughs> no carb left behind. That's my motto. There is an S banana bread? Does it use bananas? Or does it just use banana extract? I have to go look that up. Jumbo pumpkin pancake. Nope, but I need to remember that, Sarah. I'll add that to my list. That sounds good. I have Brianna's books, and I totally forget to open them. That's what I need to do is, because I'm running out of ideas, y'all. I need to get into Brianna's books. Yes, that's a great idea, Karen. Great idea. No reason to go off plan, right? Not if you're prepared. Don't give yourself any reason to go off plan. If you don't prepare, you're just allowing yourself an excuse. You're not prepared. That's why I looked up the menu for tonight. I wasn't going into that unprepared, that restaurant. I mean, I know they have burgers, so at the very least I could have a bunless burger with a salad. But most of their salads are like, I didn't spray that enough. Most of their salads are like sugary stuff, cranberries. And... Pants. I need a new pan so bad. It is, it is in bad shape. I wonder if a ninja makes a flat one. I could order a ninja one because I do like the ninja cookware a lot. Come on. Thank you. That one wasn't quite done on the other side. Did you see that? It like spread around. That's a lot of pancakes. That's awesome, Karen. 
I am not a camper. I have some hungry girl recipes, Susan, that I have turned into, I've like totally changed, but I've used her book as some inspiration for some different things. She has some really good recipes. A lot of them use pre-made stuff that we don't eat, but that one's done. That one's done. Just waiting on this little guy right here that I got too close to the edge where I didn't spray the pan well. Man, oh man. You're not gonna fail me. You're gonna you're gonna come off there. You're coming off whether you like it or not, so you might as well get used to it. And then those ones are kind of ugly, so I'm gonna hide that one on the bottom so you can't see it. Just like that. Look at that pile. That is a pile of pancakes. Look how many pancakes I got. I'll have to check that out, Susan, because I, I love a good cookbook. Look how many pancakes I got. I got six, you know, they're like a little bit bigger than silver dollar pancakes. Oh, baby. Lord have mercy, does that smell good. You can't even see me pouring that deliciousness in there. Look at that. Yum. That needs a little whipped cream on top. Just a wee bit. This has a half a gram of fat and two tablespoons, so I'm just going to have a little dollop right on the top. Ah. Oh, yeah, I wanted to, Anne Marie, but I didn't. Thank you for reminding me, though. I have to slap that in there right now. Get that going. That's clean. I'm glad somebody reminded me. I'm just going to have Tiffany's perfect fuel full coffee with it. A little almond milk. A little whey protein. Sugar free mama. I'll have to check her out. I'll have to check her out. Alright. Look, don't be so difficult. My breakfast will be cold by the time I eat it, but that's okay. What time is it? I have a go live in 20 minutes. I still have to try cottage cheese breakfast bowls. I remember that, and I still haven't made that yet. That's on my list, too. I do have a few things on my list I've been try wanting to make, and I keep forgetting. So maybe I'll make that next week. I'll forget by then. Don't be surprised. But All right, there's my Bananas Foster Trim Healthy Pancakes. I can taste them, I suppose. while I'm waiting on my Joe. Stop it. Oh my word. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that's good. Did you burden yourself, Cindy? <laughs> Did you make a dip for them? You gotta have a dip. I'm a dipper. I gotta have dip with everything. I can't wait to hear what you think, Cindy. I hope you guys think they're as amazing as I do because I think they're incredible. I think I'm gonna have maple coffee this morning. Where's my maple? I'm gonna have a little maple extract in there. Maple vanilla coffee, that's what I'm gonna have. Maple vanilla, a little extract, a little stevia. Put something good in this smoothie. 
Put something, uh, what else? I need protein powder. Put something un unexpected in his smoothie, Melissa. I don't know what, but something he doesn't expect. Stick some ashwagandha in there. <laughs> Yay, Cindy, you tried it. That's awesome. What a great breakfast. I don't know about with lemon blueberry oatmeal, but I bet they'd be awesome with eggs. Yeah, hot. Yeah, put some hot sauce in there. Do it. Do it. Just tell him you spiced it up to boost his metabolism. Put something like a hug and a kiss in a smoothie. So, Faith. Put some of the Song of Solomon in there. tease you forever faith because I think it's the best story I've ever heard in my life I've told it to everybody in my life so far I've told them I've told them all about this amazing lady on my THM page that read Song of Solomon to a date and they all go what I actually told my pastor this Sunday and we laughed so hard poor faith we laugh so hard. He's like, I'm totally telling the youth group that that's what they need to do on their first dates is read the Song of Solomon. Oh my word. story is going to keep me laughing forever and a day <laughs> just forever Ooh, that maple coffee I just got a taste of aftertaste of the maple that's really good oh. <laughs> poor Faith oh my gosh she's like I should have never told that story <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to shut off my fan. It's driving me crazy. Oh, I hope you all have a beautiful day. I have to go do a class. I have to do a go live, and then I have a class this morning. So we've had an interesting morning of discussing, discussing, discussion here. We've talked about lots of things. Overprotective husbands. <laughs> we've talked about nobody show up on my doorstep because my husband will die. <laughs> freak and lose his mind. We've talked about being Song of Solomon. Oh my gosh, it's been a good morning. All right, you guys, I love you all. I hope you have a blessed, blessed, blessed. I don't know why that just became two syllables. I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you have a great Tuesday. I'm going out for this evening, so pray for me that I stay away from their Parmesan fries because they have spicy Parmesan fries that are the world's best thing that I've ever eaten in my life, and so I need to stay away from those. So, you do it, Melissa. Do it. Your husband will be mad, but it's okay. <laughs> Take pictures. <laughs> Oh, anyway, have a wonderful day. If you don't already, go subscribe to my YouTube, my Instagram, and, you know, all the things. I love you all. Thanks for 
being here. I'll sit, no, you're right, Melissa, there isn't. No reason to go off plan. Worst case scenario, I'll have a bunless burger. <laughs> all right, guys, I love you all. Yes, gotta spice it up, Melissa. Put a hug and a kiss in there too, though. <laughs> oh, there's a fruit fly. Must be for my banana. Have a great day, guys, and I will see you all back tomorrow morning. Stay on plan. You have no reason to go off plan on a Tuesday of all days. Not when you've got food that looks like this. Bananas Foster with whipped cream on pancakes. Tell me you have a reason to go off plan. Give me one good reason. I'm waiting. No, there isn't one. Okay, I love you all. Have a great day, and I will see you all tomorrow.